All right, my friends, today we are going to cure the uh, fat shot, hitting behind the ball issue that we struggle with so many times. I'm gonna give you two simple drills that are just gonna, it's, it's really one drill with two parts, to be honest, and we're gonna fix you right up. Let's dive in. Okay, so we know we all hate the, uh, the fat, the fat shot way behind the ball, goes nowhere, 110 yard seven iron, it's not gonna cut it. So first thing we have to do is, is understand why we're hitting it fat, because then we're just gonna fix it. Now, a lot of people what might say you have some early release. Okay, that's a, a symptom of a bigger problem. Okay, so early release doesn't necessarily equal fat shot, because you can slide forward early release and still get the ball. So although, yeah, it's an issue, it's not the main issue that we need to deal with. Okay, another thing is uh, what we're doing is, this is huge, is we back here in our backswing, we thrust our hips forward, okay? So what we're trying to do, the reason we do this is because in the golf swing, you take it back and everybody says, stay back. So we're trying to keep our head back, okay? And so we're trying to keep our head back and this is all we have to do is to stay back and thrust our hips forward and we, uh, we either thin it or we fat it. And that's, we early release to compensate for the problem, okay? So that's kind of why the early release happens. But, so we have to solve this issue. And the other thing is what happens is you start doing this, the only way to save and save that is to slide our hips forward like this. So you bump your hips and you thrust your hips and that can solve the problem, sort of. It's like putting a Band-Aid on you know, a chopped artery. Like it's just, it's not really doing what we want it to do because we're, we're, we're coming here, we're doing this, changing our spine angle, it's a mess. All of these are reasons why we hit a fat and it causes us to stay on our back foot too long. Okay, so we need to fix that. Here's what we're gonna do. Two, one drill, two pieces to it so we can get it right. Okay, first is, here's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna set up and uh, you may have seen this before, but this is piece one. Most people don't add the second piece and so, you run into problems and I'll show you why. Okay, so here, piece one. And then from here, you just wanna rotate your hips and open your shoulders. Really keep that club face square. It's gonna look shut to you, but that's fine. Right here. And just hold this position for a second. Your weight should be on the inside of this back toe and the outside of your back heel. That's where it should be. Okay, so here's your, and you really wanna open that shoulder up as much as you can. You gotta bend down, stay in your spine angle. Okay, this is good, because this is, we need to memorize this position. So you're gonna do this, and you can hit little shots, just like that, for like, you know, you know what I say, like 500 shots, okay? Because I need you to memorize this position. Just really get a good feeling for it. Here you go, open that up as much as you can. There you go, stay down. Turn your head, just look that, there you go. Little, little guy. And it's forcing you to extend out here. You're learning this position to stay down into the shot. All of that's critical. Okay, so 500 of those. Then you're gonna move to the second piece. And the second piece is, is a little weird, but it's super, super important to do it right. And if you do it right, you'll have the right feeling, we'll put them together and you'll crush it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna step back here, okay? You can just take a little step with your left foot and then your right foot for right-handed golfers is gonna come behind here as you take a backswing. Then you step forward with this left foot, swing it around here and hit the shot. Go slow at first, okay? Don't know how far you might have to be back, but just little step behind and do that, okay? So you're moving, you're moving forward 
And then that last step is forcing you to have this rotational move here. It's like a dance move. It's like a karate move. You're opening that hip up. You're swinging this leg around in an arc, okay? Because you have to. That's why we do the behind step because now with that front foot, your left foot, you have to do this swing around move here in order to have the right feeling. And you're moving this direction at the same time. So that's what we want, okay? So little step, step behind. And notice my chest and everything is way over here. I'm opened up this way. That's the, the direction I need to go. Not this way, more diagonally behind me over there, okay? So then you're gonna do that little weird move. Everybody at the range is gonna be like, what's this guy doing? But don't worry about it. You're getting better. Trust it, okay? Just a little step, step behind, sw swing it around. There you go. Okay, so small bucket, large bucket of those. Now you're gonna put it all together and crush your shots right now because you know the position, you memorize that, and now you've memorized this move, which is what you want, okay? So that's all I want you to think about is that feel, that move is gonna happen even though that foot is not doing this anymore, it's gonna stay put, but your hip is going to have that swing around motion because in order to not hit it fat, we need the bottom of our swing arc to rotate. So instead of hitting it here, when we rotate, it comes forward. So then that becomes the bottom of our swing arc. That's how you're hitting down on the golf ball while you're rotating this way, all right? So feel that move, you know, and remember your position that you practiced a lot and do that. Look at that, 175 yard seven iron. It's that simple. You just have to get this move and this position and you will stop hitting behind the ball. You'll stop hitting fat shots and everybody in the golfing world will like you so much better because you've got the moves and you got the position. Do the drill, work hard at it, it will, it will pay off. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Let me know what you think of this video of this drill. I'll see you next time.